Hello, Shane McCusker here, Intelligent Software. Welcome to the first of a series of webinars I'm doing on sourcing. Uh, the internet is a fascinating thing, full of lots and lots of really useful information, and sourcing is the techniques available to you to find all that information and make use of it and find candidates that you can place and make lots of money. That's what we're going to be talking about for the next couple of weeks in these videos. Anyway. My name is Shane McCusker. I run a company called Intelligent Software. I make software for the recruitment industry. I've got some free tools and some tools we pay for. You can check it out on my blog page or my website, intel-sw.com. But today we're going to talk about simple techniques to find information you need. Now, sourcing is not simply about searching LinkedIn or searching job boards. That's part of it. Maybe an important part of it, but it's only a tiny fraction of the internet. What we're really interested in is getting hold of the really valuable stuff, the stuff that'll make us money quickly and easily. So many people are on LinkedIn with partial profiles or not on LinkedIn at all, and you need to get hold of the people that are going to be placeable quickly and effectively, and you can make money on it. So, earlier this month, I was in Johannesburg with Greg Savage, and we were running some recruitment master classes. I'm going to use some of the examples I used there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open, open up Google, my window to the internet, and I'm going to type in PHP Developer Johannesburg. A useful enough search. Let's see what we get. We get jobs for PHP developers in Johannesburg. This is not what I want. This is not what I'm looking for. But Google didn't know that because Google wasn't told. So I have to tell Google that I don't want things about jobs. All I have to do is type in minus job or minus jobs. And Google comes back to me with different results. This time much more useful and getting Twitter profiles, I'm getting LinkedIn profiles, I'm getting communities of developers in Johannesburg who are PHP oriented. So this is the starting point of a search. It's a fascinating place to be. What I've typed into Google is called a Boolean string. It's a series of search terms. If I've got a phrase, I surround it by quotation marks. Uh, if I leave a space between words or phrases, it acts, tells Google I want one phrase and another phrase. I can use the minus sign, as you've just seen, to say I don't want particular phrases. And I can also use the operator or. or. I've capitalized it here, which is good practice. When you're using ors and ands together, or ors and spaces together, always remember to include brackets to separate out your logic. You can see what I've done here. Uh, I've taken lots of related words to PHP or developer programming, uh, and I've, I've put them in this string of, of ors and ands. Where did I get these words from? I went to Wikipedia. I know a bit about PHP programming because I'm a programmer and I develop software, uh, but I got this information from Wikipedia. It's a great way to, to search. Okay, finally, I'm gonna show you one quick tip uh, to cut through, the, cut through the, the quagmire of Google results. Go to, from a web search, go to the image search, click on the extra tools and change type to face. And immediately see pictures of people. Who are these people? These people are PHP programmers in Johannesburg. Hopefully you found this video useful. Uh, there's more videos on the way. Check out my blog page, intel-sw.com forward slash blog. Please, please, please share this with anybody you know who'd be interested in it. Share it on social media, Twitter, LinkedIn updates. Connect to me on LinkedIn. Love to hear from you. Give you some feedback. And I'll talk to you very, very soon.